Hello and welcome to other, um, another set of uh, uh, text functions and we're going to really now go a little bit uh, higher in our way of thinking. Uh, it's not really programming but it's close to being uh, in programming and uh, uh, dealing with functions. Uh, one of the most important things to be aware of that some characters like the space is part of the list of the character. For example, if I have here names such as, let's say, uh, John, and I had a space here, and I moved here, and I said here, John, and I moved here, moved here, this John has an additional space. How do we know this is, has an additional space? First of all, uh, uh, there is a function, it's going to be called link. See, I'm going to say here, put it under it says so the link of this name since I really added a space then I moved to the other cell it's going to give me five you will wonder where is that five it's supposed to be four I told you there is a space after the in if I use this function in to the next value which I'm going to drag it notice this is four and this is five so if I have a list of names and I'm trying to compare if this name is equal to John, it's going to give me false. Knowing here, if I say if this equal to this, then say they are the same name. They are, they are the same names. Otherwise, say they're not. They are not the same name. And notice it's going to give me they are not the same names, and I'll say to myself, but this is John, and this is John. Yes, this is John, but he had his best in that he left. And you're going to constantly deal with this, because people are not going to be aware of these things. So what are we going to do? Before we test this function, if there is a suspicion that there is spaces here and there, it's no big deal. We could take another function, it's called a trim, which is going to trim the spaces from the beginning and the end of that name. So we're going to say here a trim also to make sure that C2 is going to be cleaned before the comparison takes place. And look here, they are the same name. So trim is really very simple to use but very powerful because it does a lot of cleaning for us. Again, let me use another example. If I say here Sam Jazzy, and now I want to clean the spaces, whether it's one or many. It doesn't have to be one. Here we go, we have a lot of them. And that's no way it's going to be compared to my name and lost name. So before I do anything, I will say here trim this so give me the new see here it's going to be no spaces and here it is the spaces so trim is to clean any spaces that you might have before or after the name okay this is one uh, function that we need to keep in mind the other one that is going to be very helpful if somebody really put their name as saying and they did not capitalize the H for the, my last name, or I forget to capitalize it. In order for me to go over many, many names, I mean, we're not talking about one single name, uh, here we're going to use the function proper, and proper, and notice here, it's going to make it proper, meaning it's going to capitalize the first letter, and uh, first letter of the last name, first letter of the first name. Here, even that you have the whole thing in the lower case, it's going to still make it proper name. Okay, if I have the whole thing as capital, it's going to turn it into proper, which is really doing all the work behind the scene here. Okay, so here we go. If I change this to uh, Alwoods, and see right here, that's my kids from father, or one pot, and here we go. So proper is very helpful also. You have a very large list of names, and you want to sure that it remains. Uh, names capitalized in the voice and then, uh, an, you know, an invitation to the mail merge. Uh, the other thing that you would like to uh, use in order to make sure everything is good, uh, in addition to the uh, frame and the proper, 
uh, sometimes, for whatever reason, you want everything to be capitalized. You know, be aware of this because capitalization in, in the virtual world is really yelling or screaming at somebody. So it's not polite when you send an email that has capital, capitalized words. That's when you are shouting at that specific moment. Uh, make sure that also uh, to use it effectively if there is, a, you know, like a dialogue between another individual in a meeting, you want to emphasize something. Of course, the context will tell whether you're angry or trying to emphasize something. Can you say here, if, uh, if the meme here is going to be, let's say, uh, Al Woods, as you see it in, and you want it to turn that, you see here all the combination of our lowercase, you can go ahead and use the function lower, and you guarantee that everything is going to be lowercase. And also, if you want to emphasize that he's a great guy, uh, you know, and he's going to say here are uh, equal, of course, uh, uh, you're going to say upper, you know, uh, Al Woods here, and I can say here, uh, and for saying he is a great uh, guy. Here we go. See here? So I'm emphasizing the fact that Al Woods is a great guy because I'm capitalizing uh, his first and last name. So when we learn about this, you notice here the trim function, and we can learn also about proper, and we learn about lowercase. Of course, I need to get that uh, from the editing mode, uh, lower. And I wanted to go ahead and make it up. Sometimes you get everything you have in lives, you want to really make certain parts in the text um, um, lower or upper. That's completely up to you. know, the tool, the problem is going to tell you exactly what you need to do because that's what it takes for us to action. All right, so what we have to do here in order to get you ready for the next example, that is a practical example, we need to know about the two or three hour function. Uh, there is a function it's called left, which is going to extract a number of characters from a text. Let me go ahead and get, uh, this is the proper name, Al Woods. I wanted to go ahead and get uh, his first name. I know, in this case, it's going to be the first two letters. So I'm going to say, uh, go to B10, which is where Al Woods' name is, and extract the first two letters from left. So it's going to give me Al. And there is another function it's called write. Of course, we don't want to use them not in kind of like static. Later, you will see that I'm going to be using uh, uh, to extract the first name from somebody, regardless of how long is the first name. So go back to focus on write. I need to go to uh, Al Woods, and I'm going to go ahead and extract five from write. And here we go. We ended up with Woods. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what is there to do in relation to how I could extract a number of characters from a starting point to an ending point. So there is a function it's called mid, way too powerful, and it's going to start with a text. And I wanted to say here from four, which is really the beginning of the last name was, all the way to five. I need five of those characters, and we can go ahead and get words. Uh, better yet, and instead of worrying about how far we wanted to go all the way from four all the way to the length of the name, here we go, the length of this whole name. So it's going to go ahead and extract words again, because starting at four all the way to the end. Okay, so from that position all the way to the end, so I'm embedding the link lin function inside the med in order to go from that point all the way to the end. Now we have to figure out if I have a bunch of names, where do I start? You know, I don't have to start at four if that person was actually named Christopher, which is going to have 11 different characters. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to uh, use another function, then we're going to put it all together in a practical way. First of all, what about if I wanted to find where is the position of the space for this uh, name, for Mr. Alwood's So there is a function it's called find, find, and you're going to look for the quotation, double quotation, space, double quotation. 
So you're looking actually for that space, for the comma, for anything in this name or string, and you're going to, or text, you're going, it's going to tell you the space is really at the position of a three, or the third position in the string. So I could go from lift, here we go, if I know that, I could go from lift, okay, uh, in this name, as far as the three, which is the number of the position, I've already been calculated, and of course I need to subtract one because I need to go back. I don't want to include the space in the first name, so it's going to give me out. Uh, the same thing, I know now where is that position of the space. I can say mid. Mid starts with the name Elwood, and it starts from this, which is the position of the space, plus one, plus one, because I don't want to include the space, and go as far as the length of the whole name L Woods. We'll close this and close this because we have two functions inside each other. You notice we were able to get L Woods. So let me go ahead and show you a full uh, practical example of this. Of course, I need to zoom it at 200 and we're going to quickly go ahead and do this. This is full name, name, full name, and first name, last name, and there's nothing more powerful than planning to your data in the future. If you have planned accordingly by cutting the name into first name, last name, you don't have to go through all this. But if somebody sends you a list of names that have already been uh, presented as full name, then we know how to actually break the first name from the last name. Just in case we wanted to use the mail word that we should actually do earlier in earlier videos, and so you could have written by for her by their last name, Dr. Smith, uh, Mr. Smith, Mrs. Uh, Smith, and so forth. So let's go ahead and say here, Al Woods, okay? And I'm gonna say here, Sam Hijazi, and I'm gonna say here, Christopher, actually here is, I'm gonna hit F7, Smith Bill, so there's a, a T, a Christopher, here we go. Change factors all there, and also I hit Christopher. Or let's say um, I could choose a very long name, but I'm not going to. And we're going to do a stable all the three three names. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Go to the home. I'll turn this into an actual beautiful blue color, so tealish in this case. And I'm going to go ahead and continue with that tealish. Uh, with the lower here, we're going to go ahead and get that first name. The first name is going to be left, and left of this, and it's going to go back, go for as far as the space, and the space is going to be determined by the function find, there we go, and it's going to go, of course, within that string or text itself, so that's why it's so interesting that every function has its own order of parameters, the parameters actually those where we feed the function to get that. Uh, output or the return value. Of course, I need to take the minus one in order to get the first name. Since I'm completely happy with the fact that L is the return value, I could easily drag the fill handle and know that I'm going to obtain the right uh, result because I did extract Sam, I extract Christopher. And here we go. We can do the same thing using the mid function. And I'm going to go first with that. Uh, steps, and we're going to start with the find at the position of the space so using the find function by looking at this for the space within the string or the text itself. But don't forget that we have to add one because we don't want to include the space. And it should go as far as the number of the character there. And here we go, of course, there is a uh, black parentheses. You have to close it with black parentheses. I'm using two functions inside the mid function. The first function mid is going to look for the space and give me the position and add one to it. And the second function lid is going to tell me how to the length of it. So it's going to go from that position all the way to the end of that uh, string. And here we go. Woods. Here we go. 
uh, all over here to give jerseys and jokes. There's no way you could learn this unless you play with this. Use your own example. Do some counting here and there. Make sure that all the characters that are returned uh, are the correct one. And that's the only way to do it. There's no other way but to practice with your own set of data and play with it. Make a little mistakes here and there. Look at the videos again and make sure that you can do it without even looking at the videos in there. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.